All right, we're back at it today. It's a mess. Floor's not finished. And we need every single minute out of this day to get this thing done. So let's get some work done. Chicken wire. Well, waterproof the walls and then chicken wire. So let's get that done. fold themselves look put it like this and I press on it bam fold Time. can't make this stuff up Roofing the shower pan. First chicken wire up, paper up, completely waterproof. First chicken wire up, now there's the second, third, and then wainscot. Now wainscot does not need to get waterproofing paper on the wall because it ain't a shower, all right? It's just a little splash guard. It's not gonna be absolutely soaked.
that beautiful gold on the floor, right? Gold? Yeah. What's the gold? Mud. Oh. It's so beautiful. Alright, let's see. So much light is coming in. Oh. Yeah, no, I can see what they're talking about. Now, humanly, you want your rooting for a person like that. We just have the waterfall in the middle, and then we have the same tile that goes on the waterfall, but not uh, uh, vertical. It's going to be horizontal at the top of the wainscot, and it's going to run into the window seal. Done floating this thing out. It's still all wet, so we'll put a little pan on it, cool it down, make it a little harder, and then start selling some tile on it. Eleven o'clock, not too bad. All right, it's pretty well dried. Now we're going through with the wood float, as you can see, and then we just gotta go through it and just knock down any burrs or any little uh, high ends that need to be knocked down. If you look at it sometimes, especially like these end points, we just go through and knock it down. So, as you can see, I already knocked all this down. This is absolute, perfectly flat. Absolute perfection. If you put a level on it, it's absolutely perfect. And then we're just going to start tiring on this wall right here. Then we'll do that wall. Then we'll do the wainscot, the curb, then floor. Hopefully we can get it all done today. Let's get at it. All right, so nice and quick. We just molded these curbs. Perfect. They're perfectly... Uh, level and also perfectly straight so that way when we put down the side piece it matches perfectly with the trim piece on the side so it just kind of continues down because it really looks unprofessional when the curb steps out or the wall steps past the curb
just remove it. After making sure it's all clean, just make sure this thing is never wet, because if it's wet, you ain't sticking to it. Okay. Put that in here. Uh, it was a nice good day of work so obviously we got the waterproofing walls waterproofing chicken wire float tiled everything including this tile that goes here is going to go here as well and obviously there's a little bit of trim left over there and just to tile this in and that's it and obviously we'll tile in the floor so tomorrow we'll grow out the shower do those trim pieces tile in the floor so maybe we'll have um, just to grab the tile floor, but that's not, not too bad for days worth of work today, and then we'll have a day tomorrow. 
to get this gigantic master done. It's not gigantic, but it's pretty big for two days. That's what it is, and obviously, got this little paint on the floor. I'm gonna switch that out to a tiling. Otherwise, it looks fantastic. It's nice and clean, and it's nicely floated. So everything's perfect. We don't need to put a bunch of uh, those little wedge spacer things to try to make it straight because the walls aren't perfect when you float it. That's the thing about it. If you want things to last 50 or more years, you float the walls. Don't play around with the foam and you're gonna have great success. All right.